Good morning, Corsimon. How are you? Good morning, Iris. Very well. Gracias. The first question that I want to do is about 30 monedas or 30 coin series by Alex de la Iglesia. Your character is Angelo, an Italian prayer. How was the experience during the shooting? Um, uh, the experience uh, during the shooting was uh, was fabulous. Um, it was very intense for me because it was the first time I was uh, acting in Spanish. And it's actually the first time I, I uh, spoke Spanish in a in a you know extended uh, amount of time. Uh, and uh, but it was marvelous at the same time because it, it was something that I wanted to do. I wanna always wanted to do uh, learn uh, the language and uh, getting to know more about Spain besides having been on vacation uh, on the islands, you know, Ibiza, Formentera, and the coast. And so uh, the shoot itself was so, was great. You know, I didn't know Alex. I was a bit, you know, mm -hmm. uh, nervous, and I thought he was too, because <laughs> he, he, he trusted me to play a very important part in the series. And uh, he knew me, but not really, and uh, I, I could say the same for him i i knew two or three moves he he had done but no more than that so so it was a, a nice relationship that started slowly and then it developed during the shooting and uh, and then it became fantastic uh, mm -hmm. and uh yeah the first uh the actual first scene I play in the film is uh, one of the most complicated scenes that you will see probably in uh, episode number seven, maybe, or mm -hmm. six. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember it was at three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. in Pedraza. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had, to, I had to have a long speech, a long speech in front of 20, 30 people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, uh, but it was beautiful. It turned out to be, uh, a big uh, éxito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you like to film a uh, Spanish series? <laughs> and yeah. 30 Coins was your first work with Alex de la Iglesia. How was to work with him? Uh, well, as I said, you know, I, um, I, I knew he's it, it, one of the biggest directors in Spain. And, uh, and, uh, so uh, and I didn't know him well so my approach was uh, as usually is you know my very professional you know I I arrived on the set well prepared uh, you know uh, and, and ready to expect any kind of uh, results from it and um, working with him is, 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 is fantastic it was uh, because you know He's, he's, you know, we're almost the same age, and uh, and uh, his background is so various. You know, such an artist. He's a, uh, is a passionate guy in, in the arts, and, and you know, in in comics and uh, music, and uh, so we had a, a lot in common. Mm -hmm. And so, as I said, you know, our relationship improved day by day. You know. Uh, and uh, I found it uh, interesting to work with him because he's a genre director. You know, he's one of the directors that uh, uh, you know that that work in horror movies. You know, movies like uh, so. They, they, their approach is very much uh, of a certain way. Usually, you know, <clears throat> it's important. Uh, the, the shot is important. Uh, uh, el cuadro. Mm -hmm. Call it in Spanish, and and uh, and the uh, and and the environment. And he's uh, he was very. He, he's able to create a real theme, and uh, what I appreciate of his work, he's really capable of, of uh, create uh, entertainment. He he's capable, which is not uh, everyone directors. Uh, you know capability but alex is capable of, of making doing the cinema 
the movie, the movie with a big M, capital M, mm -hmm. has a sense of grandeur, has a sense of, uh, of bigger than life. You know, uh, mm -hmm. I've seen other movies he has done. He's, he has this, uh, this this capacity of capturing his his audience and take it to another level. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, you know, and and make uh, dream, you know, make them dream big, you know, some some fantasies, you know. Mm -hmm. I think he's he's very capable of doing that. Mm -hmm. And very recently, you were participated in his last movie, Venecia Frenia. What do you tell about this last movie, Bayales de la Iglesia? Uh, well, again, it's. Um, It was a bit different because at that point, Alex and I knew each other very well uh, and loved each other because I, I really love him as a person and his entourage of people, his wife, Carolina, and uh, pr producer, actress, amazing actress, and, and all the people working around him in, in, in Poughkeepsie. And uh, it's really, uh, I consider it my Spanish family right now mm -hmm. so whenever when, when the he he kind of he called me up uh, you know uh, proposing uh, me this this film uh, you know and in times of uh, lockdown because of COVID it was a gift from God from mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and then I, I the script itself it's, it's an amazing script it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's another horror film mm -hmm. shot most beautiful town in the world my character was spectacular uh, you know I could not believe I was offered to do such a thing so uh, it was extremely uh, nice you know the, the, the shoot itself was hard because it's not easy to, to uh, work in Venice you know we're on water all the time <laughs> and um, so but we pulled it off I think we did an amazing job it's going to be a beautiful film Both projects are related with horror. So, what did you prepare it, your characters, for horror oh. genre? Well, well, well. You want to you you want to know my secret recipes? I see. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, horror uh, is just simply, in a way, it could be easier because uh, it's uh, it's one of those genres. Of films that allow you to to free yourself and 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 uh, and to free yourself in the terms of of uh, leave space to your fantasy, you know horrors that you know they allow you to to do to do more, to go further, to do bigger, to do unexpected. You know, horror is a beautiful genre because uh, it explores other realms of uh, you know, the human, uh, uh, the human side, or, or also the, the environment. You know, it's 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 uh, so basically. Whenever I, I I not so many projects I've been doing in, in the horror realm, but I'm now I'm, I'm getting more and more into it. I Basically, I always start from a, a point of realism, uh, to reality, because I like to see how the reality slowly turns into something possibly unreal, possibly unexpected, possibly unthinkable. I like uh, horror films because uh, they allow you to explore um, other sides of reality or non not reality you know uh, extended and spread out in the fantasy world you know uh, you know in the imaginary world you know you know and explore the unconscious you know explore your, your deepest secrets your deepest fear you know it's it's a beautiful way to express yourself and explore the possibilities, I think, of the human soul. Mm -hmm. um, another question is, do you have a big international career? Where do you feel more comfortable doing your work as an actor? Um, well, I, uh, I, 
I like it depends on it usually depends on the on the story really um, uh, you know it could be a love story it could be like an action movie uh, I, I, I'm not stuck in one uh, kind of uh, one style of uh, filmmaking or as an actor mm-hmm. uh, at all I like comedy mm-hmm. I, I love comedy I, I wish I could be offered more comedy parts because I, I enjoy doing it mm-hmm. um, if you if you ask me but the rest of it uh, you know I, of course I love action uh, you know thriller thriller psychological thriller I love those uh, but I love a love story you know mm-hmm. I, I you know I, I don't yeah I depends on on the particular project every time, every mm-hmm. time. Okay. You participated in the mythical and very popular series Friends, playing See? the character Paolo, who was the boyfriend's Rachel. Who was, was to work was in... Malo, was el malo, el malo, el malo <laughs> chico. <laughs> who was to work in a sitcom from America? Well, that's, uh, you know, that was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And I tell you, when that happened, Uh, it was very new for me because uh, you know in sitcom is a is a is a is a kind of uh, show that we don't have in, in Europe much now maybe it's more common mm-hmm. uh, but the sit comedy it's a typical American uh, or maybe anglo-saxon uh, show um, Uh, that particular comedy, but most of them of that kind, they happen in a studio. Mm-hmm. So whenever you you're there, there is um, there's cameras around you, of course, your fellow actors, but also some audience that follows the show, which I found it very interesting. It's in the middle of a theater and uh, a, a TV set, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, which which helps. It makes it really vivid because uh, at the same time you're 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 feeling in, you know the audience, mm-hmm. which is a plus. You as an actor, it's like being in a theater. It's like being in a theater and feel the audience mm-hmm. and uh, the reactions and uh, and being filmed at the same time. Um, I found it really. You know, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I was uh, unaware. I wasn't aware of what I was doing, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and not even, you know, close to, to be uh, aware that uh, the show would have been such a success. You know, nobody was. You know, I was there at the very beginning, and none of the cast members were, you know, every, you know they were, they knew there was going to be such a success, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, But it was extremely fun. Very, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I, I, yeah, those, 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 those guys are really talented, I have to say. And uh, and it's not uh, it wasn't a ch- by chance that the show became so popular. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of work behind mm-hmm. from writers, from the producers, and but there's always also the capabilities of those actors being so good and so well uh, combined because the combination of them is, is so unique uh, so special you know it's it's not easy to find uh, those mm-hmm. people that they click mm-hmm. they work so well together you know mm-hmm. and how was to work with Jennifer Aniston oh she, she was a darling you know she was a uh, Again, when I when I met her, she was just another actress, you know, one of the many, many, many actors <laughs> in Hollywood, and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, it, it was very nice. Uh, she she she, you know, she's originally Greek, you know, she her mm-hmm. mother <laughs> was Greek, and she was telling me about her family, and and uh, and I could feel her, you know, the Mediterranean kind of. Uh, approach to you know to life at the time mm. and uh, our scenes were you know what you, you guys saw afterwards they were very sweet very very fun to play uh, she was extremely happy when the show was picked up uh, for 
second season, third season, you know, she kind of cried uh, out of happiness because um, it never happened to her mm-hmm. before Friends. The show was such a success, and, and she she got to work in a different seasons of the same show, and and all of them they were really dear, you know. But mm-hmm. Jennifer's a you know very simple uh, lady now, mm-hmm. uh, maybe that that that's what makes it beautiful because it's you know it makes you, she makes you feel like you know uh, it's not a like a forbidden dream you know mm-hmm. it's uh, it's everyone's uh, next door uh, you know girl mm-hmm. in a way. Mm-hmm. De todos tus personajes. Sí. Eh, que has participado en muchas películas y en muchas series, ¿cuál es tu favorito? Uh, uh, al final uh, me gustan todos los personajes que hago, ¿sabes? Uh-huh. Porque uh, pongo muchísimo de mío eh, eh, y luego están por, por, por siempre. De <risa> bien uh-huh. uh-huh. no, inmortal, ¿sabes? Uh-huh. Uh, claro que hay hay personas que, que me, 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 me quedan, quedan en mi, mi memoria más y por un momentito de mi vida cuando pasé eso puede ser Friends seguro porque hace muchos muchos años ahora y estaba en Estados Unidos y fue más, más joven que ahora y, en una en una Estados Unidos diferente de que es ahora eh, Friends puede ser uno o yo creo que un otro papel que me, me, me ha quedado es eh, en Angel y el Demoni en uh, uh, Demonios no uh-huh. Angels and Demons eh, uh-huh. un otro película que es muy 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 importante para mí eh, y un otro que, 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 que he hecho eh, en, en una, una película inglés que, que se llama Barbarian Sound Studio. Uh-huh. Es una película muy intrigante, muy, muy, eh, muy interesante que, eh, que pasa en el, en el años eh, 70, 70. Uh-huh. De, 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 de género, de género uh-huh. Uh-huh. pero en una manera diferente de, del filme de Alex. Eh. Allí, allí es todo psicológico y de, su, de, su, de sueño eh, es sensorial. Uh-huh. Y puedo, podría decir, pero ahora, hombre, ahora tengo mi ángel, ángel que me que, que va me que va a dejar a un gran, a un gran marco en mi vida. <risa> <risa> y, y lo que pasa en Venecia Freña también, uh, vas a ver, vas a ver, hay, hay mucho, mucho que pasa en esa película. Uh, uh-huh. pero, pero hablamos luego. ¿no? <risa> sí, yo tengo muchas ganas de ver Venecia Freña porque me encantan eh, las películas de Alex de la Iglesia y el terror, así que la veremos. Sí, no, tú, tú vas a... Uh, a amar, amarlo, amarlo. <risa> te gustaría, te gustará mucho, muchísimo. Um, the last question is, what could you let us know about your next project? My next project, uh, sabes, en mi, en mi, en mi, en mi negocio hay muchísimo hablar, 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 y porque aparentemente podría decir decirte tengo tres cuatro proyectos <risa> pero al final lo que va a pasar el, el primero lo tomo uh-huh. lo, lo tomo lo hago uh, puede ser una, una película italiana uh, muy muy independiente como una serie por la tele por la tele también eh, por esto estoy esperando esperando que me digan que me digan que, que pasará uh-huh. Pero luego quiero que quiero que venir a España eh, estar con vosotros y rodar con vosotros. Me, me, me encantaría de, de trabajar en una película española con, uh-huh. con Alex o con otros uh, realizadores de España. Uh-huh. 
pues esperemos que, que puedas volver otra vez aquí a España a rodar. Esperamos. <ríe> y lo, te deseamos también lo mejor con el resto de proyectos. Y muchísimas gracias por tu tiempo en esta gracias. entrevista para el Journal du Film. Gracias a ti, Iris. Gracias, muchas gracias. <ríe> Chao. Adiós. Salud.